Hello everyone, it's Dragon Platinum here, and today we are back again in playing crazy. Now today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking my old F-16 Super Hornet build, and we're going to be adding some motor-locked bombs onto it. Now I've never actually done this before, but I wanted to try out adding, like I wanted to make some motor-locked bombs and test them out and learn how to make them, because I want to actually make a new bomber. But I figured it'd probably be a good idea to understand how the bombs work first before I and before I go and make an entire plane for it, because yeah, if I don't know how to actually put bombs in it, probably gonna make it look kinda weird. So we're gonna be trying to attach some bombs onto each of the wings and just trying it out, see if it works, and uh, go from there. So basically we're gonna be adding a little disconnector here. And we're gonna take this guy, and we're gonna attach a motor lock beneath it. Because that is how we are going to get all of our bombs put together. So let's just... It is kind of weird to make a motor lock from the top down. But we can pull it off, no problem. Just go like this. And like that. And just make it all the way down. Man, it's so weird building like this. It just... It feels so odd. I'm not used to building from the top down. But we're making it happen. It's just gonna take me a little while. Now, I think I might actually fill the slots in with wing panels because I do want this thing to kind of glide down when I release it. So I'm sure wing panels might help. And there is Memium with a beautiful looking bomb head. That's lovely. Um, I don't know if you can actually blow it up, but he's just hanging out. I <laughs> Okay. I just also realized that I gotta build this on the other side. So that's actually, I don't even know if this is going to be the proper way to do it. So that's going to be kind of painful if this doesn't work. But we'll figure it out. Okay, it is finally put together. Um, I, I got to go back through and make sure that they all lock properly. But there is our tower. It is pretty big. And let's just see if we can actually... Uh, I guess, what, what, what I want to do? I guess I want to add a bunch of cylinders in between the little gaps and then I can attach TNT to it so that might be a good thing to do. So this is pretty much the idea of what we're going with. Um, pretty simple. It's just a simple motor lock. I'm going to attach some things to the bottom and the sides and possibly the top just to make it look more bomb shaped I guess. But uh, this is pretty much all that's required to get the bomb off the ground. So. I, I'm gonna add maybe TNT either to the front or the back and kind of work from there. Yeah, I'm really not sure how to make the bomb kind of come together so we can have a case around it. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, how can I do that? I don't know how to do that. Maybe we just will go without a casing for it? I don't know. I was kind of hoping to have like something to go around it, but if I can't do it, then I can't do it. And that'll be that. Okay. So we have our motor lock bomb put together. Now, it, it looks kind of ugly at the moment, but you know what? It's the best I can do right now. So let's see about dropping it. Uh, I believe it was B I put it as. There it goes. And... Uh, do I have to press B again to blow it up? There we go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's kind of the idea behind the bomb, is just to make it like something like that. Now, I don't, I, again, I want to have like something around it so it looked a little bit better and not just like what it looks like right now. So uh, I'm going to try to maybe add something to it, but I, I don't really know what to do. Okay, so I crashed to the server like usual, but it's all good because I have added some things to the bomb, just make it look maybe a little bit better. Um, I added a trail at the back because I like watching like the smoke trail as it goes down. I added some delta wings, so hopefully it points down first when it's going, and uh, doesn't just like fall <laughs> straight down. Uh, I got like a little nose piece, and that's about it. Now I gotta fix everything and put it back to what it was before. But once I get that done, we can try this out again. Okay, so there is my first bomb that we've got on there. Uh, obviously, the middle and stuff doesn't look too great. But I'm not too worried about that. Let's actually give it a test. Um, let's start up the engines here. And just take off. Man, I wish my landing gear didn't just get crushed off the bat. 
Uh, okay. So there we go. Fly is perfectly fine, doesn't interfere with flight at all, so that's a good thing. Uh, even though there's a part sticking through, hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Let's try dropping the bomb right now. Okay, uh, wasn't supposed to explode mid-flight, don't know what that was about. Okay, let's try this again. I just switched around the uh, control on the disconnector because it was the same as the bombs, so I'm thinking that was what uh, happened. But let's try dropping the bomb now. Drop it. There it goes. And... Please work. Ah! Uh, it, it didn't exactly work, but at least I can blow it up manually. There we go. Alright, so that is... That is actually pretty cool. That will work perfectly fine for me. Now, I'm going to add another bomb onto the other wing. As well as I might add one underneath. I don't know if I want to do that or not. But there's a reason I want to add the one on the bottom. And that's because I want to try out what's called a scatter bomb. Now, it's really simple. It looks really cool when it's fired. But uh, it might not fit on this plane. Okay, so I did a little bit of messing around with the overall design to try to fit this in properly. But I think I've just about got it. Now what I'm going to do is add some explosive blocks onto these guys, like this. And it's basically going to be like this going all the way down, because when I actually go to separate them, if this can load in for a second here. So when I go to actually drop the bombs, we've got two in there right now. So if I press, I believe it is G, they'll split apart and it'll be two bombs instead of one. So that is the cool part. I think I could probably fit in like maybe six bombs in there. And uh, it'll look really cool when it actually drops. So yeah, I guess now I just gotta build another upside down motor lock tower, and we'll be good to go. All right, I believe the cluster bomb is ready. Let's go take it for a quick test drive and see if it actually works. If it works, it's gonna look really cool when it actually fires off. So let's just make sure we're all good to go. I really need to fix my landing gear one day. That is just something that really bothers me. And the bombs went off. Or some did, not all. Okay, that's weird. Uh, let's try... So hopefully we didn't lose too many bombs. Let's try this out. So I believe it was R to drop them. There we go! So that's kind of what that looks like. It's pretty cool, and like everything just kind of separates, and it's super simple. And then once they're gone, I've got kind of that slot back, although it's not perfect, but it's there. And uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Alright, you know what? I'm just going to quickly fix my landing gear so that they actually work with me and not against me because they keep blowing up the bombs on me and I do not need that right now. Alright, I believe we're good now. Let's try starting this thing up. Uh, takeoff's a little bit jittery, but that's okay. We just need to see if this is going to actually work. So let me put up my landing gear. And what was the button I had for dropping the bombs? I don't remember. I think it was R. Let's try R. There they go, my cluster of bombs, and that works pretty well. That works really well, actually. Okay, that's cool, and then we have the other bomb, which I can just press B, or V, there we go. And I pressed B, so it blew up. I'll have to try that again. <laughs> but yeah, so far this thing is coming together amazingly. Um, I'm probably going to mess with controls and stuff like that, but I just need to add the bomb on the other side as well to kind of stabilize things. But once we get that, I think we're going to have some solid looking bombs on this. And I'll actually have learned how to use the bombs. So then next time I can make a bomber and have it work properly. If there's one thing I hate doing, it's building motors upside down. Okay, I think I've got my bombs together. There's also one other thing I want to add. Uh, since I've got these parts sticking up, I thought maybe I could do something to decorate them. So I was going to add a little sign on it. And not that sign. I want to add a text sign. And let's just put that there. Put one there. Put one there. And maybe I'll add the Canadian flag to it. I don't know. Alright, there we go. Uh, I believe all the bombs are attached correctly. And we should be good to go. I'm actually going to remove these because they're kind of annoying to redo. And I'm just going to go over the controls one more time. Make sure that everything is going to be together properly. And then we should be good to try this out. Alright, so we've got our two sets of bombs here. I guess you could say three bombs, but I'm calling it two sets. We've got the two on the sides that will drop together. And then we've got the one underneath the body, which will drop the cluster bomb. 
and uh, I'm excited to try this out. Everything has snapped together properly. I'm not a huge fan of how the motor locks stick out there, but hey, not everything can be perfect, and uh, maybe I can improve it in the future. But let's take off here. Let's bring in our landing gear. Let's, you know what, let's try to uh, bomb the island. So let's go circle around here really quick. And I want to try out the bombs on the wings first. So I believe it's B for me to release those. So here we go. Bombs away. There's the first two bombs. Right into the, prep, into the propellers, but there we go. Those are working perfectly fine. Now let's press R and release our cluster bomb. I totally missed, but they work too. And that actually looks so cool when they go off, because they go in like a big old line. So that is really cool. Yeah, I really like adding the bombs onto this and using the motor locks for them. They look really cool, and they fit my plane very well. So I think next time I'm going to have to make an actual bomber and fill it with a ton of bombs. And then we can have like huge bombing runs. That would be really cool. But yeah guys, there we go. There is motor locked bombs. Hopefully you guys have maybe learned something from this. It's really simple to actually set these guys up, and they're extremely effective once they go off, especially the cluster bomb underneath my plane. Like, it is crazy how much damage that could possibly do if I hit, like, a target dead on. So if I was going, like, across a bunch of people, and then I press that, and, like, that would do a lot of damage if it hit properly. So that's really cool, and I, I'm also a really big fan of these two on the sides even though they're probably not as deadly, but they just kind of look cool going down. So, I think it looks cool. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I think next time I'm definitely going to try to make an actual bomber and see how that goes, because I'm sure that will also look really cool. But anyways, guys, that's really all I've got for this video. So hey, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, it's Dragon Platinum, signing out. Peace out, guys. Bye. Thank you.